Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a small video on vaccinating pigeons for paramoxivirus. This is the vaccine that I use, it's Columbivac, just a, a dead vaccine, 100 dose one. It comes with this syringe, 1 mil syringe, there's nothing there to do 5 pigeons at 0.2 mils each. And these are the needles that it comes with. This year, for, this is uh, an option that I've used for past 25 years, but this year I've upgraded and hopefully I'm now using this gun, which I'll show you now. Um, up to now I'm being very, very uh, impressed with the gun. So, right, this is the gun that uh, I'm now using. The bottle fits into the top. It's a lever system. N needle just fits into here. It's exactly the same thing. And basically, what it is, is it's a one push. Vaccinated. So one point, one push of that injects the bird with 0.2 mils of Columbivac vaccine. I'm very impressed with this gun. It's enabled us to now vaccinate pigeons singly, as in the past I've needed a two-man operation. Now vaccin vaccinating Bacara pigeons, Bacara trumpeters, this is not different than vaccinating normal pigeons. Because we want all this profuse feathering in the neck, it becomes really difficult to find out exactly where you want to put the vaccination injection needle in. Now, up the back of here, at the back of the neck of this bird, as in all pigeons, there is a spine. And the last thing you want to do is inject the spine. So, finding an area to either the left hand side or the right hand side is ideally what you want to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to vaccinate a few normal pigeons so you can see how easy it is compared to vaccinating a Bacara. Now what I thought I would do, I would start off with a really, really easy pigeon. As you can see, very short, thick feathering, but exposes the skin quite readily. So this is how I would vaccinate a pigeon. Expose the skin area. Bear in mind this is the spine running down here. Ideally, you are where you want it, either the left hand side or the right hand side. Under the skin, one push, out, withdraw. I always like to give it a little bit of a rub to vaccinate to distribute the vaccine. And that's how to vaccinate a normal pigeon. With other breeds of trumpeters, this is an English trumpeter, it's pretty much straightforward. It's it's a little bit more difficult than a normal pigeon, but as you can see, we can expose skin quite readily. So this is how I would vaccinate a normal pigeon or a normal trumpeter. This is an English trumpeter. Same procedure, expose the skin, the spine's here. From the side of the skin under the skin and that's how to do a trumpeter. Yellow hen as an example she's probably what I would say is an easy bird to vaccinate. She lacks the mane she hasn't got as much profuse thick hard feathering as the blue but nevertheless she's, she still has a lot of feather. Same procedure Spine is there to the left of the spine. So that's how to vaccinate the Bacara. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to vaccinate this blue checker hen that we've already shown earlier with all the feathering. Same again, I've exposed the skin. That's it. Paramoxivirus. It's a very important virus that can decimate pigeon lofts and pigeon breeders. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like it and share it. Thank you very much.